Listeners, I want to talk to you guys about all of this worry and panic about this solar eclipse that's supposed to happen. You guys, I have seen so many vid videos talking about how something major is going to happen because why would we have to get all these warnings and emergency emails? Jesus must be coming back. Everybody get ready for the rapture. Um, it's the end of the world. I've seen countless, I mean, numerous videos about Jesus's return. And I want to kind of put you guys' worries and all that stuff at bay and at rest and let you guys know that this is all my own personal beliefs, thoughts, and opinions. And you guys, the Bible literally tells us in Matthew 23 that no man will know the day, the time, or the hour. Okay, we know what day is the eclipse happening on? April 8th, right? And what time is this supposed to happen? So depending on where you are in the path of the solar eclipse, here it's supposed to start around 345. So we already know the day and we already know the hour, okay? That right there automatically takes that out, okay? Jesus is going to come like a thief in the night. Do you guys think that thieves will go around telling people? Well, I'm gonna break in your house around 559 on the 10th of April. They don't tell you what day they're coming. They don't, you don't even know that they're gonna come. It comes as a surprise. It's the same thing with Jesus. Like Yeshua, Yeshua will be coming like a thief in the night. That means you don't know when that will be. Nobody does, okay? Now I know all the rebuttals. I know all the people that will probably say, well, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, it tells us right there that we don't know the day, we don't know the time, we don't know the hour, okay? Um, second, so there's been a lot of talk about a black swan event. Now, if you don't know what a black swan event, it's something that cannot be predicted that will just happen out of nowhere. Like it's not something that someone will see coming, but it still happens. Right. So kind of like the whole bridge, um, that happened, that big collapse of that major bridge. Um, was that in Boston? I think it was. That is like a black swan event. So a lot of people are thinking that a black swan event will happen on the day of the solar eclipse. Now, I can't say that that won't happen. Now, there might actually be something like that that happens. But again, let me take you back to the Bible and remind you that God is in control. Okay. All things are under his hands. Okay. So anything that happens is already been pre-orchestrated. So it's not going to come as a surprise to God. God is the alpha and the omega. He is the beginning and the end, and he is the first and the last. So therefore, no matter what happens, we should have no fear, okay? He has no equal. There's nothing that can even stand against our God. He is all-knowing, all-powerful, omnipresent, omnipotent, omnipotent. I mean, if you know God and you have a relationship with God, y'all, y'all shouldn't be afraid of anything that's gonna happen. So if they're telling you to prepare and in your spirit, you feel like, I'm not, I don't feel like I need to prepare for anything, then that's fine, okay? Follow the leading of the Holy Spirit within you. First John 4, 4 says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So if you feel like I need to be preparing for something, then listen to that. But however, if you feel like, okay, I, I'm at peace. I don't know why everybody else is freaking out. I'm going to be chill, then be chill. And I feel like a lot of this stuff that we are seeing is a lot of fear mongering going on. I, I feel like a lot of people are really worried and, you know, they're thinking a lot about Revelation chapter eight. So it, it said uh, a third angel blew his trumpet and there fell from the sky like a star, a great star fell from the sky and basically it contaminated all the rivers and the water. So no one could drink the water. And if you guys looked at your emails, it's telling you to stock up on water and toilet paper and like foods. And people are like, why are they telling us to do all that when we just had one in 2017? They didn't say that stuff back then. Well, no, they didn't. 
okay? And things do change because we are in 2023 now. And, you know, maybe they are expecting something to happen, right? We just don't know. But you cannot allow your fear to be louder and greater than your faith. So, I mean, you you have to choose which one you're going to listen to. And the reason why people are thinking about I brought up the whole Revelation chapter 8 because a lot of people were saying three major things are allegedly supposed to happen on the day of the eclipse, which one is the solar eclipse, two is um, rumors of a comet or, you know, a solar flare, so or solar storm, I'm sorry. So a uh, comet, eclipse, flare, solar storm. Um, so a lot of people are thinking, oh, well, if it's supposed to be... Um, how are they predicting clouds to happen on the same day as the solar eclipse and stuff? Are they trying to block something from being shown? You know, because I did see videos of like the map and it shows the path of the solar eclipse this year versus the one we had in 2017 and it makes an X across a particular town. And they were saying that, you know, maybe that meant something. I mean, you guys, everything means something when it comes to God. God will speak to his children in the last days, which we're living in through dreams and visions and, you know, intuitions and gut instincts and things like that. And so, of course, this is a time for us to repent. There should never be a time for us not to repent. You know, um, it, it's like every day you should repent. So I don't know why people are making such a big deal around this particular day. Yes, it does tell us that God will send us signs through the sun and the stars and the clouds or whatever. He always sends us signs through the sun and the stars and the clouds, you know, hence the rainbow, hence all of these different weird uh, anomalies that are happening in the sky and things that you just cannot explain. This has been happening every single time. Like this to me is nothing new. Yes, this event happens every 10 or so years. Um, and you may not get to see it every time because it may be in different places. So to you, it might be something new. But I, guys, us as believers, we have to know that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. No plan of the enemy will work. We are covered under the blood and there is no fear. Okay. God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power of love and of a sound mind. So therefore, no matter what these rumors are, no matter what kind of conspiracies are going on, no matter what we may think will happen or black swan events that could possibly take off, we are to have no fear. We are to put our faith and our hope and our trust in God. And, you know, that is kind of part of the reason why I stopped making videos or reactions right now, because I felt like I was focusing more so on everything else and I wasn't putting focus on God himself I was focusing and highlighting on the things that are like hidden and the dark things but I want to focus on the things that are you know like Hebrews eleven eleven tells or one eleven tells us like faith is the substance of things hoped for it is the presence or substance of things that are not yet seen so therefore you speak the things into the existence just like our heavenly father did because in the beginning there was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. So therefore he spoke a word and that thing came to pass. So therefore we do the same thing. So if you keep focusing and speaking fear, you keep speaking, well, what if this happens? Oh no, I should freak out. Like, okay, well that's going to happen for you because you're, you're having faith more so in that than you're having faith in God. You see where the problem lies? You're not increasing in exalting the most high God, you are exalting your fears. You're exalting the conspiracies. You're exalting someone else's thoughts and opinions over what the word of God says, which God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Can I get an amen? So no matter what is going on, you guys have no fear. I, like this, this is definitely a sign. Yes, this is definitely a sign, but this is not Jesus's second return. No, the world is not ending. Okay, will there be some type of cataclysmic event that happens? I doubt that. However, I do believe that will there be some like problems where they try to crash the stock market or where they do something like that? Yes, probably so. Is that something that I can do? No, that's outside of my control. Can you worry about that? No, you cannot worry about that. Well, you can choose to worry about that, but I choose to focus on 
what I believe is true and that is God. And y'all got me over here preaching in the car right now. I'm about to go inside the store. And I really wanted to get this video out because I've been seeing so many people in the comments of different videos, like asking if this was the end and if they should continue to pay their bills. Yes, keep paying your bills. No, this is not the end. Yes, Jesus is coming back, but this will not be the day, okay? No one will be able to prepare or know when this day will be. And no, you should not wait until this day in order to turn your life over to God. And you should not wait for this day in order to repent. You should already be doing that stuff. You should already be having your house in order. You should already be ready so that you don't have to get ready. Stay ready, okay? You gotta be 10 toes down and ready because you never know when Jesus' second return will be. And we're not here to debate if that's gonna be here in the physical sense or if that happens in the subconscious mind or whatever. We're not discussing that. That's a whole other topic. But we are discussing the fact that there will be a solar eclipse. You guys should just get your sunglasses or your little um, eclipse glasses ready. Buy them off Amazon or get them from Kroger or wherever you need to get them and just enjoy it. And don't be worried about what all of these people are saying, okay? Pray, talk to God you know meditate on god and the, his promises and things of faith and not the this worrisome stuff and if you guys need to just stay off of those types of sites like tiktok and instagram and get your word journal you know do stuff like that and you guys can you can go there's nothing wrong with stocking up on stuff get get a lot of water because there will be a lot of people out of town visiting Anywhere where these places are going to be where they're going to get the best view of this eclipse, this solar eclipse. I live in a state where people will be coming here, okay? I live in Indiana, so people will be coming here to see it. And I just, I don't plan on stocking up on anything just because, like, we have the stuff that we need. But there's nothing wrong with getting, like, toilet paper, um, water, things of that sort just to make sure that you are prepared because like there will be a lot of people so when you go to the store and all of these millions of people from different states are coming there will be a shortage of like food for sure and there will be a lot of things that you can normally go to the store to get that you will not be able to have access to so you guys definitely want to be able to um get that stuff before everybody else um i hope that you guys have an amazing easter and I miss you guys so much. I'm really not for sure, like, if I'll continue to be posting on a regular basis. I literally just got back from um, an interview of this place I really want to work at. And um, I did get relicensed again in massage therapy, you guys. So I will be stepping back into that field of work just because I feel like a lot of people don't understand that there is a lot of holistic benefits and, like, there's a lot of dis-ease in people's bodies and a lot of it can just be cured through simple massages. A lot of people are walking around holding stress and trauma and emotional things in from like stuff like this, like being afraid, fear, listening to the internet before you're listening to our heavenly father, you know? So therefore people walk around with tight shoulders and they think they have something chronically wrong with them when really it's just simply stress. So I want to be the one to tell you guys that like, I wanted to just get on here and let you guys know, do not fear. Everything is going to be okay. And if you guys have any questions or if you guys just want to talk about all of this stuff, definitely leave some comments down in the comment section below, but make sure you guys are kind. We do not do any bullying or rude people or anything like that over here. Um, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in another video.